हेलो गाइस टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी यूजिंग द सेम लाइब्रेरी दैट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल रिमूव बैकग्राउंड इनसाइड पाइथन सो दिस टाइम वी विल बी बल्क प्रोसेसिंग मल्टीपल इमेजेस एंड रिमूविंग द बैकग्राउंड सो ऑल द इमेजेस वी हैव स्टोर्ड राइट हियर इनसाइड द इनपुट फोल्डर गाइस दिस इज द फर्स्ट इमेज सेकंड इमेज एंड द थर्ड इमेज सो लेट्स सपोज यू हैव अ फोल्डर ऑफ ऑल द इमेजेस दैट यू वांट टू रिमूव बैकग्राउंड एट वंस बल्क प्रोसेसिंग स्क्रिप्ट इनसाइड पाइथन यूजिंग दिस मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज आरएमबीजी this is very easy we have basically built out this python script which automatically one by one it will process the first image second image third image and then it will create a output folder and one by one it will store all the images by removing the background so now let me run this python script and tell you how it is done so python app.py so just look at in the left hand side it it will create the output folder and one by one it will remove the background background removed and you can see that so it is processed all these three images guys one by one and it has created this is the first image it has removed the background here you will see that this is the second image you can see that and this is the third image so you can see how easy it is to process a complete list of images which are stored in a single folder and one by one this python script will process the first image second image third image it will remove the background and it will create this output folder so we will try to build out this functionality from scratch so let's start this tutorial so just make this app.py file guys so make sure that you have python installed and then install this module pip install remg So this is basically this module, guys, which is a open source module. If you you can even search on Google what I am talking about, REM BG. This is a Python library or module which allows you to remove background from images. It's not a paid API. It's a fully fleshed free tool or library which is built by a series of GitHub developers. And now, in order to build out this, we need the operating system module, and we need this. remove background library from this we will import the remove method and here guys we will define a method remove background and here we will provide two arguments first is the input directory and the output directory so inside this function guys we will basically define our logic so here now to call this function it's very easy we will basically write a print statement hi so now to call this function guys we do need to provide the input directory here so input directory you just need to name the the directory so where all the images are present so we are storing all the images inside the input folder and we don't need to create the output directory it will be created automatically and here we also need to pass the output directory output directory and here we can simply pass output so this is a name so now we can simply call this function guys by providing these uh, as arguments so remove background and then we will pass the input directory and the output directory so that's it so now we are calling this function guys so now inside this function basically we do need to create a directory with the help of make directories output directory so here we will say if the directory already exist in that case don't create it so if the directory doesn't exist then only we will create this function create the directory so after this guys we will basically get all the image files which are present inside the the input directory so here we will use the list directory method here so this will get all the images which is present inside the input directory that is passed here input underscore directory so here we will simply run a for, uh, if condition here if f ends with so this will only get all the files which are ending with either dot png or dot jpg so this will be the simple logic here because the image file extension is only png and jpg we don't need to process uh, other than image files so extension here dot png dot jpg and uh, third one is dot jpeg this is a logic guys and this will not present it will store all the image files inside this array so now we can simply run a for loop for image file in image files so inside for loop we will first of all get the input path here by operating system path join 
and if you here you will say input directory image file so we will get the input path and now we need to construct the output path guys and here for this again we will use out operating system path join and output directory image file and here we will define the logic we will open this input path as read binary and as fn and again we will open the output path so this is just the logic to basically remove the background we have studied this code in the last video so after we do this we just need to store the image data by reading it reading this so we have this read method and then we will output data we will say we will call the remove method so we are calling this remove method from this library guys that we imported and then we are simply removing the background and we are storing it inside output data and now we need to simply write this file f dot write and we will pass the output data so that's all uh, this will uh, and we can even basically write a print statement here just to clarify that background removed for that image file so we can simply have output path so that's all so this is the python script guys which automatically will go one by one in the image file all the images file which are present inside this input directory now let me execute this python script so i will say python app.py so you will see it will create this output directory one by one background remove background removed background removed so you can now open this you can see how it has removed the background of all the images with a single execution so this is very really useful when you have thousands of images that you want to remove background you can simply execute this python script so all the source code is given in the description link guys you can go to that link and get all the source code so thank you very much for watching this video